it's Disney Girl back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. So today is going to be pretty spooktacular because we are going to be taking a look at a little clip of the live stream that Disney's Magic Kingdoms posted on Facebook of the Tower Challenge that is to come. Judy Hopps is now level 4. Alright, score 1 for the Zootopia PD. Alright, so let's go ahead here and take a look at what was revealed very briefly in the live stream. We have a very special announcement for you. Are you ready for it? Wait a minute, what's happening? Okay, so we will know more on October 12th, so I am very excited about that. Now let's talk about what we actually saw there. So we saw Oogie Boogie, the Queen of Hearts, and we saw Jafar. So we pretty much know that those are the characters that we are going to be needing for the upcoming Tower Challenge. So. I don't have many of those characters, so I am going to be in a little bit of trouble here, I think. So in terms of Aladdin, all I have is Jasmine and Abu, and they are not high levels, so I am going to be trying to work on that really quickly um, to try and get them a little bit higher so they can be a little bit more useful in the tower challenge for getting me coin and stuff like that, so fingers crossed I can get them up at least one or two levels. Now those are the only two characters characters that I have so hopefully I will be able to collect um, one of them from the uh, tower challenge and stuff like that using the currency. Now Alice I have absolutely no characters so that is not going to be very good. Um, I'm not sure this time though if they are going to be using the villains in this tower challenge. Um, so far they haven't. You have only been able to use I call them like more the heroes. So basically the Queen of Hearts, Jafar and Oogie Boogie they would not be be usable in the tower challenge but since it's Halloween we don't know that so the nightmare before Christmas is the other one um, now I do have these guys a little bit higher than the Aladdin so that is gonna be good I am gonna try and get them another level or two higher um, to try and see if that's gonna help me out a bit um, what will be good though is even throughout the tower challenge I will still be able to level these characters up because they are not very high so I will be able to do that throughout it so I'm not too too worried about that it's more if they were super high more like an 8 or a 9 then you know it's going to take like 16 hours or 24 hours to get them to level 10 to be uh, the most effective and useful throughout the tower challenge so we know those are the three collections that are going to be used. Now each, I call them chapters, are going to be about five days. So I don't know which one we are going to be starting with. My guess is we're going to end probably with The Nightmare Before Christmas um, just because it's going to take us a little bit closer to Halloween. Um, but anyway, so five days for the first one, five days for the second, and five days for the third. So um, that will mean a total of about 15 days for this upcoming tower challenge. Now we've had a couple other tower challenges before this one where we were able to collect a special character. So we've had Christopher Robin and we've had Jack Jack. So I am thinking we are going to be getting another character from a collection. So I don't know what we are going to get, but if you guys have any predictions, let me know in the comments below what you guys think um, will be the featured character that we are trying to collect for throughout the Tower Challenge. I have a few ideas. I think it would be pretty cool to have Snow White's Prince um, be in there, but I don't think it is a high chance of getting that. Um, what would be really cool, though, is if they had the mayor from The Nightmare Before Christmas, but since he is on the parade float, I don't know if that is actually super realistic. Um, now, in terms of if we were trying to think of the collections that were featured, um, Aladdin, I don't know who else they could add, to be honest, uh, sort of in that collection, unless they go with Aladdin 2 and bring in a character from that. Abu is now level 4. Ta-da! 
So that's good. He's at least level four, so I can start collecting for him again. And as always, when we level up characters, we get gems. All right, Maximus and Rapunzel here. I couldn't agree more, I think. Quest complete, horsing around part three. Oh, we're gonna get more dialogue here. Hey, Maximus, is Rapunzel still mad at me? Do you think you could talk me up a bit? There's an apple in it for you. <laughs> Horsing around part four, send Maximus to lend an ear to Rapunzel. Hmm, interesting. So we will have to wait for that. Now, back to the tower challenge here just for a second. Um, Again, I want to hear what you guys have to say about what you guys think the featured character will be. I am very, very interested um, to read all of you guys' comments on that because, frankly, they could add so many things. I mean, I know some people before the Little Mermaid event, they were talking about getting Melody sort of with the event and they were disappointed. Now, they are kind of keeping with full collections from the um, first sort of original movie and then adding to that I think they will do that sort of throughout the tower challenges and stuff like that so I don't think any of the characters that we have seen in second movies um, from our favorite Disney movies I think the second movies will be strictly for tower challenge characters unless they start putting out full collections which they definitely could do for something like Toy Story um, which would be really interesting I'm not sure what they're going to do with that but they have a lot of characters they could add, like starting with Slinky Dog, because Slinky Dog is in all of the movies for Toy Story, and since we are getting Toy Story 4, you know, but I don't think Toy Story would be something they would add to in a tower challenge because it is part of our main storyline. It seems to be only, um, we seem to only be adding in tower challenges um, characters that are part of the limited time events. So keep that in mind when you guys make your predictions about what we are going to be getting in that tower challenge. I'm very excited to watch the live stream and I will be putting out a video for you guys after it, um, sort of just talking to you about what we saw and what they've said and what I think is going to be to come because they're not going to give us all the information right so we're going to kind of have to make a few assumptions but we are definitely going to know more about it um, after that live stream now I feel like though they have given us already a lot a lot of information believe it or not just from that very short little blip clip and they basically gave us the hint to get your characters ready. So guys, please, please, please start leveling up your characters if you have them. If you don't, don't worry about it. Um, you will have an opportunity to collect um, some of the characters throughout because they will be releasing the legendary chests and stuff like that um, with each uh, each chapter. Eve is now level 8. <laughs> So that is also the bonus thing is like Alice in Wonderland, I will probably be opening maybe a legendary chess pack if I can for that um, just because I have none of the characters. So that would be really interesting like and really awesome if I could go ahead and do that sort of right off the bat and then I can start hopefully collecting for them. Now they will be very, very low and weak in the tower challenge. So not good for leaderboard events. Jasmine is now level four. It's amazing what you can do when you fly beyond the palace walls. Wow, it has been so long since we've had dialogue from her. I'm kind of wishing I had have leveled her up a little bit more, um, I guess, over the last little while. But really, she hasn't been useful to me. And I've been trying to level up other characters and stuff like that to either help my main storyline or help me out during the limited time events. And that definitely is something that is really important to me is those limited time events. Tower challenges are too, but they are kind of another animal. They are sort of more for, I feel like people that want to start getting those collections and stuff like that, that they weren't able to participate in events. Um, but, you know, and really for those people that have been playing for a long, long time and have all the characters, it's, it's a good way for them to... 
um, be able to build on what they have and stuff like that in their kingdom. So make sure to tune in to the live stream Friday, October 12th. I'm assuming it is going to be at 11 a.m. So make sure you guys tune in for that. That will depend on your location, obviously, in the world. Um, so for Eastern Standard Time, it is most likely going to be 11. All right, here is Sally back in the kingdom. Sally is now level six. I'm all stitched up and ready to go. Yes, you are. No more dialogue, though. I was hoping we were going to get some dialogue from her. We have not had very much, I will admit that. So Jack Skellington is next to level up. I think they did a really, really great job on the graphics for those particular characters and stuff like that. They look bang on to the movie. They are perfect. Um, some of the characters, like um, Ariel and stuff like that, the movies were not made in the same quality, so they've kind of had to have some, some dimensions and stuff like that to the characters, so the characters do look a little bit different than we saw in the original movies and stuff like that, but they have done a super duper good job in this game, and I'm very, very, very happy about um, what they've done, and I'm very excited to see what they come up with in future. All right, so as you guys can see, I am dropping lots of character tokens. Now, this is going to be important, um, obviously, to level up the characters, but how I'm doing this, guys, make sure your happiness is in ecstatic. It will be extremely important during the tower challenge and stuff like that for currency and for your characters to drop tokens and stuff like that to level up those featured characters. Rapunzel. I'm sorry I overreacted, Flynn. I know my mother can be a little, well, scary. I am too, and in the spirit of honesty, I think I should tell you that I asked Maximus to put in a good word for me. Ha! <laughs> Maximus had nothing to do with this. You know, I'm not that fluent in horse, right? Quest complete, horsing around, part four. Wow, he confessed to Rapunzel. That is kind of sweet, but also very unusual for Flynn Rider. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on that little notification bell because you are going to need to keep up to date with the upcoming tower challenges and stuff like that in future and limited time events, um, and especially for the one that is coming probably starting next week. Jack Skellington is now level six. Could this be the start of a new improved Jack Skellington? Oh, I guess we will have to wait and see when you get some more new dialogue. All right, so thanks guys for watching and we'll see you for the next one.